Hello and welcome to a new tutorial from Trading Shenzhen. I would like to show you how to install a Xiaomi U Touch Recovery version. Usually at the beginning you get a fast boot version from Xiaomi U and later on they have a Touch Recovery version, which has the advantage of, for example, over the air updates. We already made a fast boot tutorial version, which you can find on our website when you click on services and how to tutorials. There you see the fast boot flash tutorial as a video. And we made a touch recovery text form tutorial, but right now I want to show you how it's way easier as a video. And of course you find it in English and in German all the time. First of all, we need the custom ROM, which you can find on xiaomi.eu. There you click on the download link on stable version and you search for a device. For example, here the Mi 11 Pro or Ultra ROM version. Then you click it and download it on your PC. Of course, you can download it also on your device, then you have it straight on the device. And don't be afraid, you can jump always from a fast boot version to a touch recovery version and back. When you just do the update script, you update only the system, the files, the apps and the settings will stay all the time. Only when you want to make a really new device, a really fresh device, you can wipe the data and format the data, which we already stated in the script and tutorial on the website. When you do an update, you just update your version over and over. And when you want to make a fresh install, you wipe data. And most important, you can't flash a fast boot version with a touch recovery system. And you see it all the time in the name when in the name is stated fast boot, it's a fast boot version. You have to install it with a PC. A touch recovery version doesn't have a fast boot in the name, so you can install it with a touch recovery system. Now we need also a touch recovery system. Therefore, we have to search for the name of the device. For example, here Mi 11 Pro is the mask device. Then we go a little bit more down, click on touch recovery, open the new website, search here for mask a little bit down, click on the folder and choose the latest touch recovery version, which is this one from Android 12. But we made it more simple and you will find on the website a script usually for your device, which you can download. And this installs the touch recovery version of your device. Here you will find the Mi 11 Pro Mi 11 Ultra script. You download it as a zip file, you unpack it and there you have a folder. And in this folder you have everything what you need to install a touch recovery on your device. And this script is really easy. You can also adjust it for other devices. This is the touch recovery version, the image file. And when we want to, for example, install a touch recovery version for a Mi 11, we download the Mi 11 touch recovery image file, copy it into the script folder and name it just like the old one. And with install touch recovery, we can install the touch recovery system for a Mi 11. When we go into the script file, it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, it's fastboot exit boot and the touch recovery file image name, which is the same one. And there you can adjust it for any file you need and you want to have it really easy to install a touch recovery script on any Xiaomi device. And before we start with installing the touch recovery, we want to copy the firmware, the custom firmware on the device, which is pretty easy and simple. When you have the device on, you are booted into the system. You just plug in the USB cable, you choose the file transfer and you copy the ROM from your laptop to the device, usually in the download folder. Of course, you can also download it on the device straight into the download folder. And if you are later in the touch recovery system, you can also copy it. But I think this is the easiest way to do it. And when the ROM is finally copied on the device, we can start with the touch recovery script and installing the touch recovery. We go into the script folder, click install touch recovery, and now we have to boot the device into fast boot mode. Therefore, we press and hold the power button and the volume down button, as long as the device reboots himself. Usually it shows a fast boot sign. In older version, it shows a me too symbol with a fast boot. Now we can start with the touch recovery script. We plug in to the USB cable, press a button on the keyboard and the touch recovery script is installed on the device. Pretty easy, takes a couple of seconds and then the device reboots into touch recovery. The first boot will be in Chinese, but you can change the language pretty easy. Just click on this button and the globe at the top, choose English and click again on the button and you will have it all in English. You have a lot of options. For example, if you want to have a fresh reset to default installation, you can click on wipe 
and you choose format data and you press yes then everything will be cleaned the system will stay of course but it will be a clean system of course then you clean also the rom which we copied right now but don't don't panic because you can click on mount then you plug in the usb device and you can copy the rom again in the download folder from the device there is also an option of advanced where you can flash the core and touch recovery when it doesn't stay in the system when you update and you install it new and it's gone you can flash it again and then you can flash the core and touch recovery but this is not needed right now going back to install an update or a new version of the custom firmware just click on install click on download choose the newest version accept it with a swipe and then it will be installed this will take around five minutes and don't be afraid because an install and update will always keep the files the settings everything will be kept only the system will be updated it's a big file usually it's around four gig and it will take around five to ten minutes but on the end you reboot to the system and everything is stayed like before only a wipe a format data will make a default system make it clean and this is usually used when you install it the first time not when you update it and later on when you have ota updates you download it on the in the folder download folder you jump into the touch recovery system click on install choose it and ready on the end we clean the dalvik cache wipe it and reboot into the system now it reboots into the system which takes also around like two to five minutes and then we are back you click on system settings and you will see you have the newest version on the device of course you can now choose the version and check for updates and when there are new updates they will be downloaded into the download folder and you can install it with the update over and over again you can reboot into recovery if you click the three buttons reboot to recovery or you can press the buttons just press and hold the power button and the volume up button as long as it reboots that when you see the myui logo then just press the volume button up and it will boot into the touch recovery system then you are again in the touch recovery system and you can update or install the newest version you can wipe the device or for example back up the whole device i hope this tutorial was pretty easy and if you have some questions just let us know into the comments and if you liked it just give us the thumbs up your trading shenzhen team